Good morning and Privateer FX. Coming at you on hump day. Wednesday, December 5th. What a second half of the day yesterday. Holy cow. Big, big turn in everything. Uh, Euro yen through 129.40 and through this trend line. This is now sell and rally today. You can sell rallies up to 128.30. Euro dollar turned after breaking 114 the figure going up to 114.20. Uh, here we are at the bottom end of the range. Triple bottom here at uh, 19. This is going to break in Europe. Uh, looks to me like there's some structural problem in Europe that I can't quite figure out. Could be Deutsche Bank. I guess it could be politics. Uh, you know, France is burning, lack of leadership, you know, extremism coming back into play. I don't know what the story is, but the fact that Euro could not clear 114.20 yesterday uh, and the movement in Euro Yen tells me uh, there's a structural problem here in Europe and Euro is going to go lower now. So, we're going to be focusing on the Euro Yen portion of this, uh, just because of the equity move, and we are sellers of Euro Yen today. Cable, Sterling, my fucking lord. We were short uh, cable at 127.30 yesterday at the open, obviously cut that through 50. Watch that sucker all the way up to 128.40, and then uh, we weren't in the office yesterday, yesterday afternoon, so we weren't trading, but obviously through 127, the figure with a vengeance, and we've dilly-dallied here. This hourly bar looks like capitulation, but, I, you know, nothing makes sense in, in sterling. If this wasn't sterling, we would sell through 60 today, 126.60, but we're just, we're done with sterling, it's just annoying. Uh, too hard to trade, too many uh, headlines that don't make a lot of sense. Also, if this weren't sterling, we would also be trading this, 142.80. This now is uh, the neckline of triple top here, really nice technical pattern here, uh, but again, we're just a bit jaded with sterling these days, so we're going to leave it alone, but if you like sterling, you still still got your dukes up, this one looks pretty good, uh, sterling in through 142.80, Aussie, big turn lower, everyone got caught on the G20 news, not really sure what to do from here. Uh, certainly looks like a sell on rally just because of risk, but it's come a long way today, so hopefully we get a bounce and we can sell through uh, 72.83 later in the week. What else is out there? Bank of Canada today. Dollar Cat. My, my. Just did a total turnaround Tuesday. 13288. Uh, I'm just stunned. Uh, not sure what to do with this. I think the Bank of Canada is going to raise today. No one else seems to think that. Uh, there will be vol one way or the other. So this is European afternoon. I'll put some ideas up on Twitter uh, as we go forward. And an old favorite of ours, Dollar Czar. Bullish engulfing yesterday after strong GDP. Time to uh, sell Czar again. Um, we're a little bit jaded. We had a bid at 53.55 yesterday. <laughs> uh, again, wasn't in the office. The low is 53.99. Anyway, uh, this is a buy on dip. Czar's, czar's screwed. It's still screwed. Um, 
and now we have a technical signal to get short czar again so we'll be buying dollar czar on dips today all right selling euro yen and buying dollar czar are key ideas for the day good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow